I'm going to introduce our first speaker. He's got a 25-minute talk, and it would probably take 25 minutes to even skim over all the things that he's done, all the people that he knows, and all the information that he's accumulated in his life. He has been in all kinds of places, had all kinds of experiences, and when you talk to him, uh, the amount of information, the insights, the, the perspective that he offers is phenomenal. I don't know if it's that I'm full of information or just full of hot air because I love talking. I love talking fast. State of the Spark um, is the community of people that I've begun to launch online um, who believe simply in one thing, and that is igniting a life of explosive significance. And so today we're talking about claiming your life. A D word that's not that great to work with. Depression. This is a very difficult time, and I thought, man, if this all there is to life, who wants to be here, right? I'm going to check out. Now, there is a good end to this, and that is this beautiful person. By this moment, I had actually traveled the known world, survived a kidnapping in India, and survived being wrecked at sea in the North Pacific. We can go into that some other time. It's a really fun story. In 10 or 15 years, it took a lot to dig myself out of suicidal depression to living a life of explosive significance. Another bit of context is this. I spent a lot of time teaching on this, um, but this is just a snippet of what one of my teachings is called Demystifying Motivational Masters. How many people have ever read a motivational book ever? Okay, that's everybody, thank God. Oh, story. I spent a lot of time demystifying people, but I don't want to debunk what motivational masters are doing. I want to demystify it. Uh, this little graphic here, again, I spent a lot of time on this, but basically you've got spark your vision, ignite your success, explode your significance. Basically, we're all trying to live a life of significance. Now, you can get this online, and it's much more detailed. You've got to dream, and you've got to dream big. This was me after I'd lost everything for the second time. So at 28, starting over again, I had just enough money for coffee in my pocket, so I was at Starbucks going, what am I going to do? I returned to the thing that dug me out of depression. Books, obviously, books fill in the blanks, right? If you have a dream and it's a partial dream, you've got to start filling that dream out. Read people who have done it before, who have come before you. There's plenty of wisdom out there. This is just a small thing. When we got married, we laughed because I was like, you're going to have so much stuff. You're a girl, right? I have absolutely nothing but books, and she spent days moving my boxes of books going, who's got a lot of stuff? The first stage of creation is imagination, right? It's in your head. The second stage of creation, doesn't matter what it is, is when you start seeing it outside of yourself. Have you ever tried to change your life and felt like, oh, man, it's not true. I'm lying to myself. You're not, like, wrong. The divine is not uh, uh, resisting you. What's going on is that your brain has a neurochemical wiring to go a certain way in the woods. And you're basically saying, I want to go that way and cut right through the trees. That's okay. Whip out your machete and keep pushing. And you start giving yourself new crazy patterns. And you start actually believing stuff. You have to declare. And if you're mute, that's fine. Do it with sign language. Is this a claim? We're talking about claim your life, right? How many people have filed an insurance claim? Okay. Okay. So you filed an insurance claim, and what are you doing? You're going, can I have permission to receive something that I might be owed? This is claim. Who's seen this movie? This is that scene where the gun goes off and everyone goes out. Here's the trick I want you to see about this. They're all running to something that exists and that's theirs by right if they work hard for it. We're going and we're staking a claim. This is the root for these words. So if you're claiming your life, you got to get sick. you got to get crazy. There are a dime a dozen books out there about success. The difference between those who have it and those who don't are those who do. And right here, you've got a survey done of a ton of billionaires, right? Seven of them, or eight of them, had no degree and came from poor homes. When asked how they did it, they simply said, make massive moves. Sometimes taking a massive move is not being a sheeple anymore. Sometimes it's like what we did. We took a dry erase marker to a board and started sketching this. This was just an idea, but it was bold for us because we knew how hard it was to do this. this is, we started taking teams to Haiti. Um, we started with absolutely nothing but a pepper field. I actually found the pepper field in about four and a half years ago with a friend. It was sold to us for a, a dime and a song, and that's what it is today. There's two stories. There's hundreds of kids who are sponsored now. You've got to start with a dry erase board. You've got to make massive moves to make massive change. And I'm telling you, you can dig yourself out of the worst holes like I did with depression suicidal to the extreme if you just get these in line. So thank you for your time. I hope you spark your own vision. Have a great night. Thank you.